Right now, severe weather has left a path of destruction in parts of Louisiana and in Mississippi. Yeah, and many people living in both states are picking up the pieces this morning after the heavy storms rolled across the country yesterday. Now, take a look here. This is video from Vicksburg, Mississippi, as hail pounded a carport yesterday. Several tornado warnings were issued, and it expired early in the evening. Yeah, those warnings included Harrison County in Mississippi, St. Charles, Tangipaho, and Washington parishes in Louisiana. Governor Bobby Jindal also issued a state of emergency for our state. That declaration is important because it frees up all the resources in the state just in case they are needed. Strong gusty winds and heavy rains swept across the Gulf Coast. Dozens of wind damage were reported over the north portion of Louisiana and Mississippi. And at one point yesterday, our meteorologist reported that we had more than 1,800 lightning strikes in 15 minutes during the storms. Casey Ferrand is live this morning for us, and she has the latest on the storms aftermath here and on the North Shore. Hey there, Casey. Hey, ladies. Yeah, uh, crews were cleaning up overnight on the North Shore, but as far as it is concerned here on the South Shore, people were on alert waiting for that severe weather to come through. But for as far as we can tell, it didn't cause too much damage, but we did find some damage here in Metairie. You can see at this Honda Royal, a Royal Honda car dealership, a tree here on the lot has actually fallen over, toppled over onto one of the cars here on the lot. There's some uh, damage to the roof of that car as well as the windshield has been shattered. Now, as far as is um, concerned, of course, there was some heavy rains and uh, lightning throughout the area, down trees and power lines. And with Governor Bobby Jindal calling for that state of emergency and with the tornado watch over a large part of the state, New Orleans officials were definitely prepared for the worst. Since we've alerted all our first responders, we've talked with energy. Uh, we have our plans in place. So we're just going to watch and see what happens, and uh, hopefully uh, it won't be as bad as we expect. Now, one thing Colonel Sneed did want to emphasize is if you do have down power lines or trees like you're seeing here in Metairie, do not try to clean these things up on yourself. He says it's important to let the professionals handle cleanup efforts. Um, it's to ensure your safety and the safety of the public to make sure that those things are cleaned up uh, the right way, especially when it comes to power lines. On your side in Metairie, I'm Casey Foran, WDSU News.